Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this dramatic glam using the Wahala 2 palette by Juvia's Place and also the 9 years ago palette by Dose of Colors. So first we're going to be using this very very black shade you guys. I did not set my concealer so we're just going to be applying this onto our crease and slightly above it. It doesn't matter if you put it below either because we're going to clean that out later so trust the process. Also you guys if it sounds like I'm whispering I really am because it is 6 30 in the morning and everybody is asleep but this is the only time I actually get to film these tutorials for you at least the voiceovers <laughs> so don't mind the whispering anyways um, remember to draw out a small tail towards the end just like I'm doing right now because it gives it a more dramatic effect and also you guys just keep packing on some more of that black shade only because it needs to get built up and we need to set that concealer let me just mention that this is probably one of the messiest glams i've ever done and i'm gonna tell you guys why so you don't make the same mistake i did i used the juvia's wahala palette number two on this eyeshadow look as well and I use those shimmery shades that they have on there and they get so messy, you guys. It is so hard to get rid of that glitter. It is horrible. Just so you guys know, don't make that mistake. <laughs> Next, we're going in with this brown shade, you guys. And we're going to be blending this right above the black. Trust the process. Keep blending. I know in the beginning, it doesn't look blended at all and it looks like a big mess. But it will get better. Just keep blending just like I'm doing. And do not touch your eyebrow with this color, you guys, because we're going to go in with the lighter one right on top. While I finish my blending right now, you guys, please let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any color suggestions or any glam suggestions. Because I would really appreciate it if you guys tell me any ideas you guys have for the fall. Because I'm going to start doing some fall videos and i kind of want to get some colors in so that i can make some more tutorials for you guys but anyways we're going in with this very light brown shade at the top and it's okay if you guys touch your eyebrow with this color because it's very light it's not gonna do any damage to the eyeshadow look also i recommend you guys use a nice fluffy brush all of these brushes that i'm using are from the morphe collection you guys by um jaclyn hill so make sure you guys get yourself one of those because honestly i have had these for years for years and they still work like if they're brand new <laughs> i probably need a new a new set though <laughs> but anyways now we're just gonna be going back in with every single shade and we're gonna be reapplying it i'm starting off with the black just so that this shade starts to get darker because it does come off with all of the blending that we're doing and after that we're gonna go right back in with the brown and also make sure you guys blend that out really really good you want to do side to side motions or small circular motions just so that the color comes back on and we're gonna do the exact same thing with the light brown shade just so that it is also visible next i'm going in with a pointy q-tip and my eye makeup remover from neutrogena you guys these q-tips you can purchase them on my website they are so good for cut creases just look at how smoothly it is coming off they're only six dollars for about 200 of them so make sure you guys check that out in the description i have the link available for you but they're the bomb you guys i highly recommend them let me know in the comments if you guys want a tutorial on how to cut your crease like this so that I can make a video for you guys, okay? Also, right now I'm using the clean side of the Q-tip just to remove any excess oils from the makeup remover liquid. And make sure you guys leave a very, very sharp edge just like I am doing so here at the end. Do not be afraid to drag this all the way out there, by the way. Now I'm going in with the Beauty Creations um, foundation and we're going to be using this to cut our crease because I like the thick consistency of this foundation, you guys. It's perfect for this, trust me. Also, the brush that I'm using, it is from my website, so make sure you guys check that out in the description. The link is down below. This brush is my favorite for cut creases because it's so small and easy to get in there and it comes on so smoothly, as you guys can see on here so this is actually part of a brush set so make sure you guys check that out it's the only brush set on my website so it should be easy to find 
just look at that smooth canvas you guys if you need a guide to cut your crease remember let me know in the comments below and i'll make a video on how to do this perfectly just look at that wing oh my god i love cut creases they're my favorite eyeshadow looks to do next i'm gonna be going in with the wahala 2 palette and i'm using this light gray shade as a base on top of my base <laughs> and i'm just gonna be patting this down with a flat brush and i'm applying small amounts at the same time because you want it to come on evenly so just keep grabbing more product and then placing it onto your eyelid i'm so sorry if i'm out of frame you guys i promise you guys i fixed it in the newest videos now this this is the shimmery shade i was talking about you guys i'm gonna be applying this all over my lid but this made such a huge mess and it was so hard to remove just so you guys know be careful <laughs> now i'm using a q-tip with some makeup remover liquid and i'm trying to sharpen out this edge but as you guys can see that glitter is not really cooperating it's press on glitter i believe so next time i'll probably just stick to the glitters from my website because they're easier to use now i'm going in with this matte liquid eyeliner that is waterproof from italia deluxe it's my favorite and i'm gonna be doing my eyeliner if you guys need a guide for this you can also use some tape so you make a very very sharp line now i'm going in with my morphe mascara i didn't really like how this eyeliner looks right here i think it's just the lighting <laughs> and i'm just applying a couple of coats just so that they blend in with my falsies and this is also the glue you guys from my website that i use for all of my eyelash applications so if you guys want to use my glue make sure you guys go down to the description and purchase yours before they run out and this is what it's looking like now this is a finishing look let me know what you guys think in the comments i want you guys to comment the word silver at the bottom if you watch this video all the way through so that i know that you're a real one and you watch this all the way thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye